He wouldn't have been able to bypass me into the city, though. I would have been able to defend stuff. Yeah, Rolling Skies is a constant map wipe debuff for enemy area units. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go to city regen. Oops. Fast forward. We've got half an hour left. Okay, I was worried he would go here. Um, we're going to fight this. We've got five perfectly healthy divisions. They have very weakened divisions. On the other hand, they include flamethrowers and things that can drop bombs from the sky. Show. I suspect this battle will go very, very badly. Yeah, the gyros are going to be a pain. Um, what we might do is I might have everyone just, like, charge the Lord. Know what I mean? Hide for 60 minutes? And yes, the thin is normally what I do. The problem is, it was like, there was no space for anything. But yeah, maximum thinness is usually the idea. Get in the infantry line if you can push the ground. Field, the air units. Yeah, I guess there'd be friendly fire and all kinds of issues and things like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to charge. I'm just going to, like, right from the start, I'm just going to double click on the Lord. Actually, uh, toggle off the formation. Just like, just go, man. It's our best bet. These are not, like, speedy skinks. We have no ranged skinks, right? None of these guys are ranged at all. Here comes the bombs. Ow. Man, we only lost six dudes in that, though. We might want to wait for the Sorens. All right, never mind. Yeah, that... Wow! That is such damage! Yeah, just charge the Lord. He's really, really weak. He's being surrounded. Faster and stronger enemies nearby. Go and charge that flamethrower group. And that flamethrower group. Just get up in their face. I don't know if it affects their ability to flamethrower or not. In melee, he's losing, losing decisively. Like, we can't... I, I'm not sure we can do anything about the uh, the gyros here. Especially if they can keep dropping bombs on us, even when we're in melee combat with them. But yeah, we're just going to swarm the Lord. No tactics involved in this fight at all. Other than maybe we can get this... If we could even kill him, that would be nice. Is he losing any hit points? 5, 10. Oh, he's losing a little. He's getting kills. You can see his kill counter going up and up and up. 30. He's murdering everyone. Where's our rallying? It's fine. 34 kills. Holy range on the flamethrowers, Batman. Maybe I should just finish off these other guys. Stay on the flamethrowers. Let's let's quickly rush the miners. Because they got nothing. You. Rush there. So yeah, you're, you're definitely right. Let's use some skinks over here. You guys are going to stay on them regardless. The skinks are faster. Just get on them. Oh, that's actually a source group. Get over here. You. Get over there. I broke them, but then let them grow. Actually, I don't think they broke. I think they just fell back for range. I think they were just sort of doing the skirmishy thing. But yeah, if they can't flamethrower in melee range, then that'll be the thing. The skinks will stay on there. Oh, we have another skink group, which I believe has regrouped here. Um, the Lord has broken and has been killed! Now, the problem is, can you hit the gyros at all? But yeah, this is actually working out really well. The Lord is dead. Can we touch the gyros? And yeah, they're only garrisons. They are very expendable. 
Okay, I can't actually give commands to most of these things, of course, because most of them have just gone berserk. You! I'm supposed to get in here. There's eight dudes left in this group. They're armored and infantry, of course. The armor's... Oh my god, 120 armor. <laughs> They're very hard to kill, because I don't think we have any piercing. You've broken. The berserk ones are moving over here, so the berserk ones don't seem to chase broken units if they have a choice. They must land when they have no other troops left. Oh! Buyers no ground units will lose leadership and break. Oh, here they go. They're landing. Part of me is thinking, like, do we just keep chasing these guys? I don't know if they can ever regroup, though, if they don't have a leader. They have no more leader around. Can they ever break, uh, come back? Oh, turn off guard mode. They can regroup. Alright, skinks. And skinks. You're not particularly like, beefy anymore. So just keep following them so they can't get a chance to regroup. Okay, that's, that guy's broken. How come this one's not landing? Oh, there we go. No, no, he's not landing. It's an ammo thing. Oh, he's just going to keep going until he runs out of ammo and then land. All right, so we're just going to keep chasing his buddies for now and make sure they don't regroup. And then eventually he'll run out of ammo. He's got, it says three, two. Oh, without units on the ground, enemies forced to land or surrender its territory. Oh, he's broken. They're broken! We won! Woo! <laughs> It turns out that just selecting everyone and right-clicking is a perfectly good way to win battles. I mean, sure, you'll use up all your soldiers, but that seems pretty compatible with my style of playing every game. I just keep sending wave and wave and wave of, of men at them until they hit the predefined kill limit. And then, and then I win. Um, we'll go ahead. We're just going to we'll release captives here. I don't think it matters. I don't think that like it's going to respawn the army or anything. Uh, because we don't care about XP on these garrisons, I don't think. Just lost 400 guys, killing 30. Yeah, but they were really dangerous. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if like releasing them. If someone can clarify, if I release them, if that like causes the army to respawn or anything crazy like that. Because I would love to just get the 500 bucks, since I don't care about the replenishment rate of the garrisons. <laughs> True Russian. Yeah, it's the World War II Russian stat. Money. Get money. Took out the Lord too. Yeah, that's it. That I guess without the Lord, they can't. And they still had the couple of gyros. And the, yeah, they do still have a couple of gyros. Mmm. I know what I want for dinner. I mean, I know it's pronounced heroes. Which would be that much more confusing. Um, oh, We're going to hold to our vision. 100% bonus research rate for six turns? Who cares about some recruitment costs? That's fine. You are in normal mode. Let's finish these punks. Are you sure you aren't skaven with that kind of attitude? I mean, skinks! Woo! Skinks are sort of skaven -y, right? Uh, did you get a new lord? Rank 1 lord. Yeah, this is a different name. So they must have respawned a new lord. I guess they just promoted from within or something like that. I don't want to, like, do this battle again. I'm just going to auto-resolve at this point. You know, we'll lose some more people, but that's fine. Uh, Terja! Thank you very much for the tip! Terja says, seems the time spent at Comrade Stalin's tactic school paid off for you, Quill. Every game I played. All right, enemy killed in battle. Faction officially destroyed. Thank you very much. I want to take a look at my quest list. We've got six. So, oh, if we perform the Rite of Ferocity, then I get my Sunburst Standard. And for the Cobra Mace, I need to construct the Shrine of the Old Ones. Okay, which we're working on. Um, we've got some money. I will be spending some upgrades here. 
in a mo. Oh, there's our garrisoned old tro. That sounds good. <gasps> Did we lose the temple guard? Oh, we're gonna have to start recruiting them again. Aww. Um. Do you have a landmark as well? What's this one? Oh, the plateau. Right, 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 right. So for now, um, you've got plus one public order. I mean, we're not taxing you yet. Oh, then that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and start the public order building over here, just to get a little something, something. Okay, that's gonna be fine. And I might not have any money for anything significant over here. We'll see. Uh, I don't. I don't tend to just build the walls. I mean, maybe if there's a real bottleneck or something, but no. Uh, probably just go up the money branch over here is a good idea. And that's probably all I can actually spend right now, but that's okay. Prioritize dinos. Oh! That's right! I was going to save money for dinos! How quickly I forget. I'm going to go into the boat here. And I'm hoping that, you know, not having a full group of whatever is fine. It's okay, we'll get dinos in a few more turns. What the hell is gesticulating here. See that? It must be just a wild dino just lingering around. Should be walls in the mine of settlement. Stops random enemies. But it takes up a whole valuable slot. It really depends on where we are. Sequence of mass combat plus five combat strength for the Sorens. Um, again, we've got the cheaper, the better skink experience. Oh, we can get source experiments as well. More tradable resources, more ammo... You know, we'll go ahead with the experience buildings. Sounds fine. Get over here. What do we find? Sunken booty! Um, from the crow's nest comes shout that broken mass can be seen piercing the ocean's surface. As the fleet closes, the crew spots a sunken ship lying amidst the shoals. Such ships would rarely be this far from land without good reason, and the reason would most likely involve treasure. Aura of Quetzal. This is a item of some kind that I got. Plus five melee defense and the ability aura of Quetzal. And lost cargo. Plus 30 growth all provinces, plus 10% income all provinces. For six turns or something. There's the talisman. How come I didn't auto equip it? So aura, you turn it on. It only affects yourself. So we might end up giving this to a hero once we finally get one unlocked. I gotta say, the um, the lizard, like the, the, the dinosaur riding heroes, when you get them upgraded their mount, they're kind of kick-ass. Oh, they got exotic animals over there. Okay, um, just in case. Stance, full speed. Oh, the fleet. Maybe we can get further. I'm going to run down to Hexwaddle as quickly as you can get there with the idea that we'll do some recruitments at some point then. Uh, let's save up, try to get to our 6,000 bucks. Rather than get distracted with building all the buildings all the time. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the tax situation again. I think we still have to wait for some of the order buildings to finish, but we'll take a look. Yeah, we really do need to replenish for a while. That replenishment debuff is nearly gone, so it should make a pretty big difference. Yes, finally a hero! Great plan must be brought to, to fruition. As many skinks as possible must be spawned to set to work if the old one's sacred goals would be achieved. There are distinct advantages to spawning a skink chief or a skink priest. Which will you choose? I think the chief is like a good fighty-fighty guy. I have 10 more turns to kill about maybe 150 units. There's that too. In your service, my lord. So if you embed this guy into an army, it helps replenishment. I could also just keep him in a province to get gold. And he's got some target moves he's going to do. Yeah, we're going to add him in. Chief, 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 everyone says. Um, I believe the priest is particularly good for stealing research, which is kind of nifty. Uh, you are officially on march mode. Excellent. You're going to come over here. And we're going to embed this hero into the um, into the army. Take a look at his stats over here. Uh, doesn't have much armor, much leadership. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's a range guy. He's a super range guy. I don't actually think I saw this guy before. Neat. He can... Oh, we can get him a Pterodon! Or upgrade him to a Stegodon later on. Yeah! We could upgrade his Replenishment ability as well. Which is very nice. You're going to go ahead and mend yourself into this army. Give him some gear. Excellent suggestion. Um... Okay, so that's the one that's already equipped. 
We're going to give you magical attacks. We're going to give you personal better attacks. Um, nothing, nothing. That's already equipped. Okay, so we don't have enough gear overall. But that's going to be quite nice. You're going to go there. Oh, we're just short on our money for our beast stables. So next turn will have to be it. Mission successful. Get more plaques. Next turn. We got 12 minutes to go. Yep, he's been equipped. I know there's some chat lag, but just to confirm, we have equipped him with the spare stuff that we had lying around. If you're going to replenish, you have to use his ability on the map to give him some XP. Um, I've got him selected. I don't see an ability to trigger here. I think he's just innately replenishing troops. And we've got that sacrifice that's still going on right now. So yeah, I'm going to park these guys in here just to help them replenish a little faster. Get those numbers up. And we now have enough money to do this. So when we finish it, we'll be able to build a Feral uh, Bastilodon or a Feral Stegodon. So the Bastilodon, we've seen the Bastilodon. This guy doesn't have the laser beam. He's just the melee guy. He also has that rampage thing, so he may break. But it does still cause tear and everything. And then the Stegodon is the same thing, but... But different? I don't know. We can compare the actual stats later on. Uh, if I get the next tier building, I A, unlock the proper Stegodon, as opposed to the Feral one, which is good. This guy will have uh, poison attacks. I think there's going to be skinks on his back shooting. But in addition to that... I could potentially build the Bastilodon with the Revivification Crystal, which heals and reses people, or the Solar Engine Bastilodon, which I've been using right around uh, uh, at this time. But it does require a second building, the Temple of the Old Gods, or the Blood Shrine of Sotek. Still, we're going to get started on this. They get rid of Deploy Hero in Game 2, so he's doing what he needs to do. Yeah, as far as I know, like, I right-clicked and chose the, 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 the button to sort of add him in there. So now he's in there, and he's... He's presumably doing stuff. Oh, uh, we've got a bit of extra cash. So let's take a quick look and look at the tax situation. So we are taxing the province here, and public order is going up because we did build a public order building here. Oh, public order is going up very quickly now because of some nice buildings. So there we go. We can tax you again. Good money. Okay, good. 3400 per turn. No enemies to the north. We may, over in Fallen Gates... We might be tempted to build walls in case the Dark Elves get uppity. What do you think about that? I, I think that might be a thing. Because the, the Mirror Pools will have it. Oh yeah, and there are trade resources available here to start unlocking to... You know, trade and do whatever. Frontier towns, walls and heroes. Yeah, I, I I like the idea. Let's let's go and build some walls over here and get that going. We'll save the rest of the money for some extra stuff. Still have to do some recruitment. I might just chill in the city. Skip, 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 skip kind of thing until we get the dino stuff. Build the dinos. Although, I, I think we can go and explore the ruins. I suspect they're just ruins now. The question is how we're going to kill the last few people to complete that quest. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Must build a wall. We'll make it. We'll build a wall and make the dark elves pay for it. The sequence of skink spawning. Oh, that's a technology that's finished. That's bonus XP, and we'll get the next bonus XP for the source over here. That's going to be nice. Settlement upgrades available. May as well go for that. You know, whenever you get the opportunity, it costs some money, but I mean, there's so many buildings that are locked behind it. It's definitely a way to go. So two more turns until we get the beast slayers. Use heroes to explore. Oh. Can I build a couple of armies? Maybe. At this point, with the walls up there, I do feel like we only have one front now. And that's going to be possibly nice. Reclaiming the Lost World. Your noble Slan mage priests have devised a ritual that will give even ordinary skinks increased immunity against some of the foul diseases lingering in territories overrun by the vile servants of the Great Horned Rat. However, they must still be defended against other threats in the abandoned temple cities. Ground could be regained this way, though troops would have to be committed in the skink's defense. We can spend 2,000 bucks to get less attrition for six turns. I don't think we've got any attrition going on right now, so we're just going to say no. Skill points! 
So we can start going over here. Evasion is a constant buff to my lord. But then also leads us to, like, more interesting powers over here. On the other hand... Okay, we still can't get the new spells over here. Oh, I want Harrowing Scrutiny. My lord will cause terror, and he'll cause give public order wherever he is. I want to go and unlock that. That's going to be really handy. You know what? We're fully replenished. Let's go and check out these, um, these ruins. Oh, I can't because I'm in march mode, and if I'm not in march mode, I won't be able to reach anyway. So regardless, it's going to take two turns to get over there. Terrifying Frog Lord. It's just his Hypnotoad powers, it's all. Let's, oh, let's get the growth building over here. And here, we want to grow these cities as quickly as possible. All hail the Hypnotoad! Doesn't get terror regardless when he gets his dino? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's still prereq for some other stuff, right? So it's okay. <sighs> Undeadly price. Ah, the mystical slain slan, I think they say. A mage priest have devised a new ritual to increase the speed and agility of Remitosaurus warriors on the battlefield. However, such advances will always come to price. Some of those who fall may rise corrupted, and the unliving are abominations in the eyes of the old ones. We would get Vampiric Corruption in all provinces for six turns. But meanwhile, you know what? I'm going to say no to this. It's going to be fine. Um, because I don't think we need the charge bonus for the next six turns. And while I don't think six points of corruption would be a problem. There you go. So we could colonize. I'm going to treasure hunt first. Although the city is only a recent addition to the many desirable ruins found across the world, it is obvious that you are not the first to search this place. Much to your dismay, someone's already picked it clean, leaving only a set of tracks leading away from the city. We can move on, search again, follow the tracks, or prepare an ambush in case they return. What do people think? If you hover over his lack, you'll see in Maz's stat cards, the stats will change. Mm. So, people want follow or ambush. A lot more people want follow, so we'll follow the tracks. Following the track. Following the tracks. Okay, man, there are too many events. Apparently, we found a luck stone. 10% physical resistance. Okay. Um. Oh. Following the tracks, you come across a small band of treasure hunters encamped a short distance away. The wagons bursting with chests. You chase them off these and claim their haul for yourself. A thousand treasure and the luck stone. Okay, cool. And... Ah, our skink chief is leveling up. Dance of death. Oh, his dance instructor. Dance, dance. So clearly we're going there. We could go and level up all his, like, hero abilities to, like, do crazy stuff on the map. But he's part of the army. We're going to leave him part of the army. That's going to be fine. We could boost his uh, replenished troop ability. I don't think that's as much of a priority. We want to start by making this guy a super bad... People want to buff his replenishment. Really? People want me to buff his replenishment. Okay. I mean, he's already got replenish. But let's throw some more in there. Sure, fine. At least get one level of it. There we go. So, let's colonize this now. Following the treasure hunt, the settlement can't be colonized this turn. Let's stay here for a turn. Change of plans. Ah, the mirror. We want to keep leveling up the mirror as quickly as possible. And we'll level you up. And then we're basically going to be out of gold for more buildings. Last level is always more powerful. We need Skaven levels of Replenish. Replenish should affect the whole army. Yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely does. It's not just him. Because he's just one guy. There's no there's no replenishing one guy. We've got three minutes left to go. An action you can do uh, outside the army and then right-click in the army. Is it, uh, You want a defensive alliance? No. I don't... Build the following building in Falling Gates. I think we have to wait until it gets bigger. I think it has to be level 3. War Babies! Recent spawnings have favored the Artisan Skinks over the Source Warrior Cast. Indeed, workers are important to the Great Plan, but the world is threatened from within also and must be defended. You must be prepared for whatever foul ploy the Vile Servants of the Ancient Enemy or the Great Horned Rat may unleash next. We can make more Source Warriors. 
cheaper recruitment costs for Saurus, or cheaper recruitments for Skinks. I'm going to go Saurus Warriors. We may want to take advantage of that. I'm going to take the city. I have not already forgotten about the Dinos. We're doing this, and then we're going to go back to Hexwaddle over here. But we are done, because we can't recruit unless they spawn a Lord over here. But I want to make sure to colonize this. And in fact, I think I want to prioritize going and getting the rest of the cities over here. Um, and then swing back over. That being said, since we've got some cheaper spawning going on, this might be a good time to set up a second army. It's going to be really expensive. But I think it might be. Let's recruit a lord. We've got Rambatan, Source Old Blood, who's perceptive. More magic item drop chance. Or we can get someone who's tough. Penalize enemy leadership is actually really powerful. Get things to break as soon as possible. We're going to go ahead and recruit the uh, the guy who's perceptive, though, because magic items are cool. And I recruit you. And we're going to we're gonna start recruiting some dinosaurs. So... Okay, the Stegodon... Hang on, let's pin. The Stegodon is exactly the same as the Bastilodon, except better in every way except armor. So this is just a beefier one. It's quite a bit more expensive to buy and to upkeep. But he's better in every way, except he has he doesn't have quite the same insane amount of armor. But it's still insane amount of armor. One, two... No, I'm broke. Uh, let's get some half-price uh, sauruses. A couple of spears. There we go. Done. And we are going to have to wrap this up, but we're going to continue tomorrow, 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 uh, at noon, Eastern Time. We are going to be continuing this campaign. So Saturday, make sure to follow. If you're, if you're new here, make sure to hit the follow button so that you get the email alerts when you go live and everything like that. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, Saturday, we start at noon. We continue this another three hours. And then Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, we play this again for another three hours for a total of nine hours of Total War, Warhammer 2. Lizardmen campaign. If you missed any of it, you can check out the VOD on Twitch. It'll be on YouTube soon enough, but for now, it'll just be on the Twitch world. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, everyone, for all the useful advice today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye, folks.